Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's get right into the oracle card reading. Remember Libras, this is an energy reading, so you can apply these energies to wherever Libra influences your chart. Of course, always check your sun, which this probably is for you, but your moon and your rising sign too. And wherever it Le Le Libra influences your chart, Mercury, Venus, Mar wherever it influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days from when you see this video. Okay, let's hop right in. Remember, there's always an extended reading, uh, a full tarot card spread that we dive in really deeply to the reading that we start here and then also a romance reading. And those readings come packaged together and they're in the link below. So Libra, energies for Libra. Beautiful energy coming through with Gemini, one of your true love signs, but it's fallen. It's fallen to the ground. Libras, are you falling in love? What are you falling for? Well, Oh, hidden, hidden, hidden. Okay, that's really cool. Libra, your crowning energy is love is all around and overcome any obstacle. Now, this is four plus one, the number of change, which five, number of change. This is also five. You're gonna get through whatever you've been struggling with in terms of love and romance. You're gonna find your voice and you're going to be able to say the words that you need to say. Also, what this is telling me is predictive. There's going to be some obstacles when it comes to communication. There is emotionally true love here. There is a lot of love. Now, this isn't the love reading, but I can't ignore these cards. This is Gemini energy and this is Taurus energy. Um, Gemini energy is a very compatible energy for you. Just like, Two people that could really get each other are Libras and Geminis. Um, understand each other's language, sing each other's tones, sing each other's um, tunes, like be able to understand what each other means when they speak. Uh, Libra itself is a very psychic sign, um, understanding and really connecting into the needs of others because it is so innate for Libras to please others it's required almost to for, for Libras to be such a psychic sign. So um, what's really, really wonderful about this combination is it says you're going to overcome any of these obstacles. There's going to, there's probably going to be some obstacles coming up because Mercury is going retrograde on the 17th and um, you're already in shadow period. So if you've had any communication errors, like communication glitches, Ironically, it may actually help to lead you to a better place and get you through. In other words, this retrograde that's happening may actually give you the time that you need to um, reconcile or resolve issues that you may have been having with somebody that you really care about. A change is going to come and it's a turnaround. And that means with love, it's like being able to find the words that you need to say that somebody will listen to, finally being able to break through or make a breakthrough when it comes to being recognized, being noticed, or you know, somebody falling in love with you. Um, Nightingale spirit. It's such romantic energy and it's such air energy that's sort of, rooted with a real sense of earth to me that's first of all really good like two contrasting how how different is air and earth right um but so two total contrasts but at the same time it's almost like it's almost like if the air is slowing down at all heavier more solid it's actually a good thing because of whatever, how can I say this? Libra, it's almost like you didn't have enough time to do what you needed to do and this is giving you the time back. Like you're getting the time that you needed to take care of the things that, it's almost like you're, you're getting a rewind button. That's what it is. It's like a, what do I, maybe a do-over something to try again or do over again. That's interesting. Love is all around. 
you're going to overcome. You're literally going to be making up, making up or um, making things right, making things better, catching up for old, uh, catching up um, for old times. But it's not necessarily like just like an old flame. It's it's like. It's, it's literally being held down by love. But like, that, I know that sounds like a burden, but it's not a burden. It's literally like love is the thing that's holding you down, like keeping you real, like making your life solid. Does that make sense? I think it does. Let's get more into the reading. Transformation is beautiful. 11. This is an awakening, a card of awakening and realizing what you truly are, who you truly are, or a situation transforming itself into something that's a lot more, a lot more beautiful. Um, it has a lot more control over itself, a lot more dexterous, a lot more capable, um, can do more things and go more places. Um, something that's healing. This is very healing energy, especially when you combine it with the crowning energy. There is, there is something healing, maybe a relationship that's healing. Sweet results await. To me, this is saying that you still have work to do. You're going in the right direction, but there seems like you haven't reached the sweetest part of where this, this is. So everything, everything that's happening now, it's looking good, but it's not as good as it can be. There is still better to come. This is the start of something beautiful, but it's just the beginning and it's, or it's just the breakthrough. So imagine yourself the butterfly and it's the first time you take wing and you fly and it's such a magical moment. You think, how could anything get better than this? Well, the truth is Libra, it's just begun. It, there's no way that that first flight even compares to what's down the road. You've just started. So it's almost like, it almost tells me that you'll like you'll still be working really hard on this transformation or that you've been working really hard on this transformation. It also could tell me that you feel drained and almost feel like in some ways like you're at a loss. Tend to the small things. There's these little things that are building up and you have not yet You're ready to go. You're ready to, you're ready, you're ready to, you're ready to go. You're just ready to take off. But there is tedious things and details that need to be addressed that are holding you up. Be playful. This is not the time that you want it to be. There, there, that's, that's why it's almost like there's, that's what this is. This is contrast and conflict. That's what this is. It seems like this beautiful energy of love holding you down, but literally maybe that's what it is. It's love holding you down. This is a this is that central energy of being heavy and being turned upside down and and being pulled downward and not being able to really have fun or enjoy yourself yet. This is you're still in the thick of the hard work or that now you have the time to actually do the work to awaken and make the situation better. And that's what this slowing down process is for, a slowing down process that will inevitably Libra really irritate you. But at the same time, it's like you're being given a second chance, a second chance to make things right or for somebody else to make things right. Because you can always take these energies and flip them around. This could be for you, it could be the other person. But I think there's an implication here that there has been too much playing around and too much ignoring the hard work. You just want to sort of take off and fly on to the next thing, but you have to stay and, and sort of, um, you have to stay and address the issues. Trust in divine detours. This could be the retrograde itself, this idea of doing something that you don't want to do and it being the best thing that could have ever happened to you. This is the energy of seven as well as this. So even if you're called this week to stay still, to be stuck, to stay stagnant, 
trust that this is the right thing to do. This is Sagittarius energy. This is curveballs being thrown your way. Just, just, it's like, it's like, honestly, Libra, it's like having your feet stuck in quicksand and curveballs thrown at you to see how well you can hit them. But at the same time, it's like you can't move your feet to adjust. Truth transcends illusion. This is two, two plus two is four. This is also a solid stay still, like, um, like, um, steadfast, solid, um, certain, a certain energy. But look at this is Aquarian energy as well. This is the season that we're in. This is the truth coming out, truth being told. Um, and also transcendence of becoming something more than what you were. You could be finding something out or getting communications from somebody that you did not expect. And this information that comes out is like sort of just what you needed to help you to help spur you on and get you motivated again. You see clearly now, things are still foggy for you. This is Aquarian energy, but upside down. So truth is coming out and it could be exactly what you didn't expect. I feel like there's some sort of message coming through to you, some person delivering this message to you that something you didn't realize or something that you didn't know that puts things into a perspective that changes everything. It might help you stabilize your mind um, it's definitely something that you did not expect. And it looks to me to be more work. More work headed your way before you're actually able to stop. Hold on. You are never alone, but it's upside down. Six plus uh, two... Four plus two equals six, Libra. So this is the energy of disappointed love. Maybe even heartbreak. And that's what's grounding you. I told you, you're going to get some bad news. I will definitely clarify in tarot, but this is like the energy of receiving bad news or a truth coming out that um, sort of flips your world upside down and makes a situation that you thought was fun or happy or you had a lot of hope for, makes a, it makes a situation look really, just really disappoint you and be really hurtful. But at the same time, it may actually liberate you. The truth will set you free. You could have been intentionally trying to make something look like it, it was easier than it was. For whatever the reason, you would do that. Hold on. Watch and wait. This is love disappointed or love, like, yeah, this is love disappointed. And you're not waiting anymore. This is, this is not waiting. You know, this is like making a decision and moving forward and going. I think you're fed up with somebody, Libra, or somebody's fed up with you. Especially since there was sort of this false hope that a resolution could be could be found or that that this thing that you loved could be a person or something that you do, something something that you always loved. You thought that it would hold you down. You thought that it would carry you over. You thought that you could rely on this and now all of a sudden you get the message that this isn't going to fall this is going to fall through for you if it was keeping you together in a relationship with somebody now the relationship is going to fall apart take a leap of faith this is leaping towards something new this is also your grounding energy of actually being lucky uh, making a decision to just basically jump ship after your heart is broken or this disappointment comes out and like I said, take a leap of faith is a lucky card. It's grasshopper. Grasshopper is luck. And it's the energy of three. So that's um, sort of spiritual guidance, spiritual balance. Um, hold on. Two more cards popped out, hopefully to clarify. 
yeah, there was a love that was disappointed or broken up. There was um, an imbalance with the way that one person treated the other, a sense that one person was giving more than the other or the other person felt like the other person was giving more than them. This is your energy flipped upside down. Uh, Libra, so there's a disbalance and there's just this imbalance here. An imbalance to bring a gentle touch to a roughness, like imbalance to, to roughness and in, imbalance to a, like an imbalanced aggression. I'm wondering if somebody aggressed towards you and it disappointed you to the point where you were just like, almost like that's what it is. Hold on. I'm going to flip the camera angle so we can review the cards. This is unnecessary roughness. This is almost like somebody who pretended to be gentle and kind and they were like digging and full in a china shop energy. This is a sense of unnecessary roughness, something that was unbalanced, maybe even an attack, somebody like attacking or brutalizing or punching or kicking or some sort of even physical, but just definitely not being gentle, not being gentle with the words, somebody attacking you with their words and they were not playing around or you were not playing around. I don't see this as being you. I see you as being literally attacked verbally, especially, or in terms of reputation and communication. Why Libra? Because all of this is air energy. This is Gemini energy. I don't know if Gemini was part of it. I got all gushy. I thought, oh, this is such a nice energy. Maybe it was a Gemini that basically turned on you and sort of just rammed you and beelined for you or, or they're trying to protect you. This is an energy of, because this is upright. So this could be an energy of somebody in your life doesn't have to be a Gemini, but it could be somebody in your life that really loves you that at all costs is just going to like guard you and protect you and bulldoze anybody who tries to get at you because there's this sense of stall, a stall, like working hard and not getting anywhere, being drained, having little things constantly needle you and egg you on or, or, um, clutter up your space or your sense of self or your sense of security. This is an energy of just feeling weighed down, feeling angry, even feeling irritated, feeling, feeling like you're set upon or being oppressed almost. Um, and this was a curveball, a curveball. In other words, somebody's truth, somebody's true side actually came out. Somebody's a maybe abusive side, maybe violent side. There is a sense of you needing defense this week because somebody's true, true self is coming out and they're not who they pretended to be. They're actually, um, yeah, they're actually sort of underhanded and sneaky. They're, 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 they, I think they presented themselves as somebody who was extremely wise and who knew a lot and who was very together and, um, put together and, and had a lot to offer, um, yeah, somebody, yeah, yeah, but they're not, they're not at all. This is like realizing the veil coming off and realizing that this person was not what they promised to be. I hope this isn't you, Libra, uh, but all, at the same time, I don't like that this is happening to you either, but this is definitely the energy of somebody who is literally in attack mode waiting to get at you and do it through this is Aquarius energy too. All of this is air energy and that's where the unbalance is coming from. So this is through communications, throwing shoddy, shoddy accusations at you, throwing shade at you. This is definitely like you're seeing somebody's true colors for the first time. Now, maybe they have been doing this behind your back for quite some time, degrading who you are, degrading uh, your character or implying that you're not who you pretend to be or trying to somehow make you look bad. And even though it breaks your heart, you're not having it. And it's really good that this truth comes out this week. Why? Because you're, you're, this is a good time. You're just ready to jump ship. You're, it's almost like once this comes out, you're not even going to stick around to hear the whole story. You don't want to know anything about it. There's so much BS all over this. You're just done. Now, this doesn't have to be with love and romance, though this situation, I'll tell you this, breaks your heart and it makes you want to shut down emotionally. It makes you very um, closed off and it makes you very, um, yeah, it makes you very closed off and it makes you very like, like pissy. Pissy, 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 pissy. You're not, you're not happy. There's some sort of betrayal here. There's some sort of like intentional, like, like, wow, I can't believe that they did this or that I have to deal with this now. The truth is revealed. It's realized. And honestly, it's, 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 it's mean. There's a mean energy here. Um, like I said, bring a gentle touch in reverse. This is love gone wrong. That's what this is. 
So whatever it is, whether it's love for a person or I'm going to see, I'm going to do the full tarot spread and we're going to articulate this reading. So if you want to go deeper with me, um, hit that link below. We'll go over, we'll go over to the, um, we'll go over to the extended and remember the romance reading is included over there too. So hopefully guys, I will see you over there.